Hello. In this video, I'd like to do a quick breakdown of the main screen of Fleet Manager Office. Uh, as you can see here, we have several different uh, areas uh, that are set up in our screen that give us a couple of different kinds of information. So the largest is the plan view area where we are seeing our site. And you notice that we can see our rovers uh, driving around on the plan view here. We have the ability to pan using the middle mouse button, uh, zoom in using the track wheel, and it zooms to where your cursor is. So we can zoom in very close on a truck here, and we can see that it's got a truck icon. The rovers um, show their rover name and the direction they're headed. Um, the green dots show that they are uh, active currently and that they are receiving heartbeats uh, and sending heartbeats with, uh, without any errors or um, alerts. If you hover over a machine you can get some quick information uh, where you can see the dozer name, the fleet it's assigned to, the site, um, and it times out after a short period of time. We can see the northing easting elevation, uh, the design elevation, cut fill, who the operator is, and what project it's running. You'll notice down at the bottom we have the fleet status. You can see we have the same information here. Um, as we showed in the quick pop-up, uh, we have the rover ID, the type of machine, the, the fleet that that machine is assigned to, the site that it's on, the operator, last time of contact, um, the activity, if there is one, you can see that this, this truck is in the process of dumping a load, uh, this dozer is doing cleanup, and this truck is being loaded. Uh, the drill's uh, logged in. Uh, we show the delay. You can see this dozer is currently on the delay of lunch. We show their current northing, easting, and elevation. We show what the design um, elevation is, where they are, and the trucks are, are not using a de design elevation, but the dozers are and you can see that the design is 100 and they are on grade and it looks as though the one dozer just drove off the um, the grid there you can see the direction they're headed in and what project they're running on the left hand side you can see the fleet explorer this shows you the breakdown of sites, fleets, and rovers you can see we have several sites here set up um, in our test environment and that for this site Falkirk we have several fleets we have a dozer fleet a drill fleet and a haul truck fleet and then within each one of those fleets are the rovers that are assigned to those fleets in any menu you can write or in any of these windows I should say you can right click and bring up a menu. When you right click in the pan, plan view you get the uh, plan view options for zooming in or out, window, or pan which you can also do with the mouse buttons but you can access them through this menu as well. Um, and then you also get uh, the menu for the machine. Uh, so you can show the alerts of the machine. You can center around that rover or you can click view rover screen and bring up a VNC program to go straight into that machine. You can click on any um, of these windows and get that machine um, menu as well as any menus that might be available in that window such as the fleet visibility in the Fleet Explorer. If we click that you can see that you can set certain um, sites or fleets as visible or not visible 
and if we say OK, you can see we're only seeing the ones that we left visible. We're not showing the sites or the fleets that we turned off. You can also um, uncheck the show unassigned rovers and you won't see the unassigned rovers um, menu anymore there. So you can also click down here in the fleet status and get the menu for the rovers there as well. And that is uh, just a quick breakdown of the main view of Fleet Manager Office.